this Mac Mini M4 2024 is sweet, I told you before. Not only because it's price and also look at the design, it's amazing, right? But let's get real. Can we as VJ actually live with this 512GB storage or we need real upgrade? But did you see the Apple price for 1.5TB upgrade with the base model? That's insane. And how much clunky and messy it might look after we have set all our rigs into this. Can we really hold the beauty we had with this? We will solve that problem. Not that critical, but in a very simpler way. Hi, my name is Zuna Sabrahman and in this video, we will save some money upgrading our rig, keeping the cool. Let's do it. We will try Mini Super U iX Pen Matte with Mac Mini M4. Mini Super U reached out to me to make a review for this product. I gave them two conditions. I said only if I'm allowed to put my honest opinion, then yes. Also, my second condition was only if this is related to VJs, you. So I'm looking at this product with the eyes of a VJ. Let's unbox this baby. So the packing looks nice. Some dent somewhere, but I don't think it's very important. Okay, so decent packing. This USB C to C cable, and we have our heat sink. This is very important one. And this is the screwdriver and spare screw, I think. Let's take out. Oh, sweet. It just feels like Max body. I think the material aluminium is same. I'm just going to try right now. Let me just take a closer look. So this is for keyboard and mouse means not more than USB 2. Don't try storage devices here. You can work, but you want to get better transfer. These are card readers, SD card, micro SD card. This is the beautiful power button cut. Oh my God. I'm sure a lot of people I know for sure, few of our VJ friends would like this because they could not sleep at night because the power had problem with their holes i mean apple hole by the way so this is the c port this is the hdmi port the second hdmi we are going to get and try this is audio port from behind this is usb 2 that means no usb 3 so now i'm going to place it Okay, make sure about one thing. This does not lock. This is not an interlocking something, but this grips like anything, but it, it's not still magnetic or any way connected. So it's gonna slip at some point like that. But when it is sitting, it's just locked. Super grip. And I think this grips help. And this Mac Mini does not have any kind of grip, so this might slip. It did not slip that much as far as I remember, but now I feel like I have more grip. And this one would grip and this is like sturdy. You know what I mean. <laughs> Looks good, right? But we are VJs. What do we want from this? Last month, I made a video to find out how far we VJs can go with Mac Mini M4. I'm going to leave a link for that video in the description. You can check after this one. Long story short, I made a stress test video with Resolume, how it performs with two displays and one working display. And also I made another video where I ran Mad Pepper with two projectors with Mac Mini. So we already know that this can do a VJ job pretty well.
but how well you have to find it out spoiler alert there's a limit and limit is pretty close so don't push it a pc is a pc a full-fledged mac pro is a mac pro and a mac mini is a mac mini look how mini that looks but first let's admit this 512 gb base storage is nothing for us vjs it's just 30 or 40 stock footages or video loops or two or three software i just have installed three software in my mac mini base model so it's already like 60 70 percent filled up so storage no go we need something else at the same time did you see how much apple upgrade cost it's eight hundred dollars for plus 1.5 terabyte in your base model so it's crazy right so we're going to use this samsung two terabyte ssd the size is called 2280 very important this fits a range of ssds this fits almost all the common ones but you should always cross check while you are using one so i'm going to leave a link to this ssd in my description if you want to try this one now let's take off the screwdriver let's take off this screw and this plate will come off now let's insert the ssd you can't fit it wrong still don't be just an idiot after the ssd is set i will slip in this rounded part inside and screw it up then I'm going to peel off this cover sticker of this heatsink and place it on the SSD. Make sure to keep this gluey part facing top. That way it gets glued to the top cover, not the SSD and ruin it. Then I'm going to close the lid like that. So the dock cost and the SSD inside cost. That means you save. After installing the SSD, when we connect, we see this notification. Don't worry, this is good. Let's make sure to select our Samsung SSD and hit Erase. You can set up a name here and let's go with OSX Journal Extended. Also as VJ, we must have a bunch of MIDI controllers, audio interface apart from keyboard mouse. So we need a lot of USB ports. So look at my rig right now i'm pretty set for any show i still have one more display out left i could use one led or one projector my wish either way this is my happy setup to start this is our native instrument tractor f1 this is a beast by the way and we have an audio interface called scarlet 2i2 this is a very basic one then we have a small monitor this is a portable monitor this is very flexible this one is specifically a touch one but ignore the touch function in osx because they want you to buy ipad for that so this is a xiaomi ultra wide monitor this is a half 4k they claim to be 4k but they are actually half 4k and this one is a no vision launchpad mini mk3 they are all connected to my mac by the way we have used one USB C to C cable to connect directly to Mac mini because we ran out of ports in our expander. This is one point you could consider. And very important thing, I don't have any external hard drive or SSD connected to any of the USB port because they are USB 2. Don't expect high data transfer with USB 2. Rather, I'm using chunk of MIDI controllers and keyboard mouse that's the highest you could go with USB 2. We are going to run a benchmark test and see the difference between the data transfer rates of two storage, Mac's internal and Samsung's SSD inside mini super root dock. We will use Blackmagic Design speed test. This benchmark is standard for video editors. Logically, the nearest field we VGs should care. We will clearly understand the language they are using. First, let's set the target disk to the internal one. Whoa, the read speed is around 2000 Mbps and the write is 2800 Mbps. That's crazy. This gives a common outline. This says we can work almost with 
all high resolution except for 12K DCI 60. Whoa, scary. Cool. Now we have a limit. Now let's check the speed of Samsung inside my Mini Super O. Okay, the read speed is around 900 Mbps and the write is about 850 Mbps. Yes, big difference. But what are we missing? So we might have trouble if we go above 8K DCI 60 and of course 12K DCI 60 and above. I'm leaving this comparison side by side on the screen so you can hit a pause and take a look if you want. Honestly, for the amount we are saving, this is not a big difference. But let's check out if there is any chance of frame rate drop when we run video files in a VGA software because that is what we are worried about. That means, though the benchmark tried to scare us off as a VJ making a kit on a decent budget, this is just okay. Let me know in the comment below, what do you think of this as your VJ kit? I will compare the speed or the frame rate here while my files are in the built-in storage versus while my files are in this external enclosure. Let's try. So the bank I'm using right now is called Blue Fire. I'm going to leave a link where you can find these ultra wide fires. Right now, my whole project is in the internal storage of Mac mini. So I'm getting 60 FPS rock solid. By the way, I'm running my primary display directly connected this small HD one to my Mac mini. But the 4K one is connected to this USB-C dock. So I am getting 60 FPS. So I am going to copy my whole project from the internal storage to my SSD in the enclosure. So the copy speed is just fine I would say. Let me open the composition in Resolume. Let me directly go to my external talk and open. So we are loaded. So I'm going to play the exact same file. I'm getting 60 FPS, 59, 60, 60. So I don't see any big difference with the data transfer. So what's missing? Despite enough of USB 2 port, I really wish this dock had a faster USB 3 port. But now, if I want to connect a USB pen drive or a hard drive and want faster data transfer, I just need straight away another dock. By the way, there is another dock by Mini Super O of the same price range that solves at least this problem. Oh, that dock can be awesome dock for a VJ studio. Speaking of VJs and AV engineers, check out our new channel all about stage show. There we talk anything and everything about stage show production. Lights, laser, LEDs, projection. I bet you're going to love this. And hi, my name is Yunad Sabbiramad. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. Check out this video to know how Mac Mini performs when it comes to projection mapping. See you there.